Hi, I'm Sandy from Special Fork. A famous San Francisco chef once gave me a great tip that you can use wonton wrappers to make ravioli. Of course, she didn't do it in her own restaurant, which was authentically Mediterranean, but it's a great tip and a great workaround for the home cook. Now, today we're going to make a pumpkin walnut ravioli. I've got my pan heated, and I'm going to add some butter. I'm going to melt the butter and add chopped onion. We're just going to get this started, heated through. That's good. And we're going to add chopped walnuts, some brown sugar, some salt, and finally thyme. And when you use dried herbs, it's always good to crush them to release the oils. And we're just going to stir this around until the onions are soft and the walnuts start to smell great. Well, it looks like our walnut mixture is ready. So I'm going to turn off the heat and set this aside. Now at the same time, I want to get my water boiling because this is what we're going to use to cook the ravioli in. Now I'm going to add the pumpkin and stir this around. And this is my filling. Can you see how quick this is to make? Now I'm going to take a wonton wrapper, make sure it's a single, and scoop up a tablespoon of filling and drop it in the center using my spatula. And just wet your finger in water and just go around the circumference of the wonton wrapper like so. Then just take another wrapper and gently press down. Now you want to be careful that you don't get any air pockets in this and you also want to be sure you've sealed this perfectly because you don't want any of the filling to come out when you're cooking it. There we go. And then we're going to do this for the rest of the wrappers. Our water is boiling, our ravioli are done. And I'm going to drop them into the pot of water to cook. And this is going to be simmering for about two minutes. Well, the ravioli are done. I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to start plating them. Now it's good to get them out with a slotted spoon and make sure you get as much of the moisture out and you can get them out gently. So I'm serving four on each plate because this is going to be my main dish. But you can also do two and use them as appetizers, first courses. Second. And there you go. So now we have to make a quick butter sauce. And to do that, I'm going to empty my pot. And put the heat back on. And I'm going to add butter. And walnuts. And I'm just going to cook this until the foam starts to um, bubble up in the butter and the walnuts get a little toasty. 
And I'm going to cook this down just until the butter gets a little bit brown. You have to be careful that you don't burn the butter. But you want that nice toasty flavor. For more recipes and ideas on your smartphone, go to specialfork.com.